Uh, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be talking about Kuta, otherwise known as King Mackerel, Kuta, not to be confused with Barracuda though. So a lot of people often confuse the two. Barracuda is a completely different fish. We might do something on them a bit later, but today we're going to be talking about King Mackerel. Scomboromoirus commerson is a bit of a tongue twister, um, like a lot of the Latin names are nowadays. This is probably the most targeted offshore game fish along our KZN coast. Um, you're getting them down to about PE is really the, the cutoff. You're not going to get them lower than that. And then they occur all the way up, up north. They are more of a summer species than anything else, although we do get them in winter. In summer, you're getting the what we call the sholies. So the fish 10 kilos and lower. Um, they are moving down from the, the more native grounds up north and they move into our coast more in summer. Now, in, on the winter time, you're getting the bigger fish, the, what uh, affectionately called crocodiles. Because they get very, very big, they've got nice, very nice teeth to them. Um, they're going to be moving along with the sardine shoal. So you often catch them in places like Hebedine, uh, Port Edwards, Port Shepston, lower south coast area when they come in because there's a lot of deep water and deep water points there. When the sardines come through, you often get them at that time of year. Uh, in terms of looks, they are a cigar shaped fish, so very tubular, with sharp snout, and they've got bars that run along down the body like that. Uh, very sharp looking face and then big teeth to them. So the bigger specimens, I mean, you've got teeth the size of the, the tip of your pinky or tip of my pinky at least. Um, they're really more of an offshore species. The, they do catch them from the shore every now and again, but you're looking, in terms of shore-based, unless you are uh, in the tropical regions very far north on some of the lower archipelagos and things like that, um, occasionally off places like Vido and things where you can get into deeper water, but then really, as we said, said previously, restricted to those deep water points down south. So, um, Stiebel, very good place for it, and Splash Rock, probably another good place, along there, as well as Pothole in Orange Rocks. Bait-wise, very rare to catch on dead bait, except for offshore. You, from the shore, really only live bait you're gonna, is, is what you're going to catch them on. Um, they show a distinct preference, the bigger ones, in winter for bonnies. A smaller bonnie is, a jug jug bonnie is absolutely deadly for them. Uh, Walla Walla works all year round, so it's got a big shine to it and quite a big profile. Um, shad work extremely well and then mackerel, mozzies, sand mackerel, all the usual other bait fish also work, but a, a big Walla Walla is a deadly downrig bait for them. Um, as we said, time of year, really more of a summer species, although we do catch them in winter, but in winter it's generally only the big fish, you're not going to catch the smaller guys. Uh, they spawn off Kenya to Mozambique, so very far north, and that occurs in October to July, so more of a, a, a summer type. Uh, type. They, you measure them to the fork length, their tail is split, so you measure to that, that fork, and they can get to over 70 kilos, which is an extremely large fish. But do be very careful when you are handling them. The teeth are like absolute razors. There are more people with scars from Kuta than almost any other fish. Um, so when you handle them, try and handle by the tail and keep away from the sharp end. In terms of feeding, they're what's called epipelagic. So that's from the surface down to about 200 meters in depth. So they swim in the blue water. They feed mainly on fish, that's their main diet, except when they're smaller, they do generally eat squid and some of the bigger crustaceans, so your mantis shrimps when they migrate. Um, they school by size, so all fish of about five kilos will school together. The bigger fish, 20 plus, are generally gonna be in small pods versus schools, so up to about five fish. And the very large fish, 30 kilos plus, are gonna be by themselves. Um, these, the bigger fish they do catch in winter, strangely enough, are often caught in quite shallow water. So you're looking sometimes in 15 meters of water or less because they come in to the shallows. We're not really sure why yet, if it's to bask or just to a change of scenery, but they do move in a bit closer and often the guys pick them up in the, the shallow water down on the south coast. Your maturity, um, they mature at about a meter in length and 
that's at about two years of age. So as we said, they grow, they do grow very quickly. So by the age of two, it's only two years of angling pressure, they can already breed. Your, um, in terms of similar species, the only two species that we get here that will be similar to that or might be confused with it, that's the wahoo. Um, we will do a video on this. Um, there's a wahoo and a snook. They're the only two species that you might get confused with between a kuta and these two. In terms of tackle, about a 25 pound stick. So your 12 to 15 kilo sticks that we that we have in the shop. Our kuta light, Poseidon kuta light, is part of the offshore series. It's probably one of the nicest sticks to use for that. Or the kuta itself, which is slightly heavier. Uh, that paired with a good quality multiplier, like the Diwasaltus uh, BG, the 50 or the 40 size, depending on your preference. Some guys like the 40. Um, that loaded with, say, a 25 pound maxima or something like that will be more than sufficient. You don't really need braid backing for them. Um, they do take a blistering long uh, first run, but you're looking at 100 meters that it's going to run thereabouts and you can chase it because you're generally going to be on a boat. Uh, from the shore, with using live bait, you're either going to be taking a bait out with a kite, which is probably used to be the most popular way of doing it, um, or you're going to do it with a drone or you're going to slide a bait. So where you can slide a bait, that's definitely my preference. You're going to slide a live shad or something similar. Um, they're similar to where you're targeting sharks, 120 pound plus steel to say 10 o 9 o hooks thereabouts and sliding a bait out into deep water is probably the best best way to target them from shore if you do go further north you can throw stick baits and things like that for them but that's really more a tropical area so this is one of the most uh, popular targeted species if you are getting new into the ski boats or offshore scene or even on a paddle ski jet ski it's probably going to be one of the first fish you'll ever catch so come in speak to us if you need to otherwise go get some tackle pull some lures around and uh, get connected to a kuta this summer cheers guys